My name is Allison Cook. Hi, I'm Kendall. Uh, my name is John Ginn Zerlo. I had a stroke in uh, November 28th of 2018 in the pons area of my brain. So it affected my cerebellum and my left arm and hand are, are they're real issues for me because they are really unusual right now. And then I also have trouble uh, walking. My, you know, I can, I can do all the motions. It's just getting the walking to to work. I have such a tremor, that tremor down my leg. Relast helps me with. I love the active therapy in my arm because um, the strengthening in this arm, that's what I really enjoy. I can be more uh, flexibility in my wrist, what we, just, what we worked on today. It's a great thing. I really enjoyed that and heard it works. I slip out of things a lot. Just being able to do reps like this for the my arm is really great for me. I think certainly the strength to be able to, it, I know that would help me like in uh, my push-ups or, um, you know, just being able to throw probably my coordination, um, that would all be, would benefit. It, it's a good piece of equipment. It's been good for me. When I was born, I had a massive stroke, and I have left hemiplegia. And then a, about five years ago, I had a few surgeries, then I went under anesthesia, and they think that I had another stroke or some seizures that caused um, my body to um, kind of backfall. It has a lot of passive movement, which helps make the connections in my brain to like, know how they're supposed to move um, but then you can set it in a way that like you can do as much as your mobility like allows you to but then it also like helps you learn and it's all about like making those connections i think that that's good um i really like that aspect of it because a lot of times you literally by yourself you can't make those movements and you need something else to teach you it which helps you can like as you gain strength you can lower the passive movement yourself my daughter eden uh, was in a horrible car wreck six years ago in 2016 uh, she suffered a traumatic brain injury and she's been developing uh, through process of physical therapy occupational therapy how to get her uh, movements back be able to walk again we've been learning what it's capable of doing for us, which is going to be to strengthen her arm uh, movements, her wrist movements, and her leg and her foot. First impressions were very high because we had not seen her move her arm, for example, on her own. When they, they showed us where they put in a little bit of resistance, she was able to actually push the device down, tilt her wrist, which she has not been able to do that. And so we kind of noticed that we said, well, let's try it after she did it. The first time uh, we took her off the device and she actually was moving her left arm a little bit more on her own and moving her wrist a little bit. So in speaking with the uh, technicians here, um, they said that we would probably see more improvement. So we're, we're looking forward to what it can do for us. She wants to walk, that is her goal. Her goal is to walk and be able to use her arm again and do things like she, she needs to be independent again is what her goal is. And that's our goal as well. The wonderful thing that we like about it is to be able to have that device at home with us will allow us to continue her therapy at home. People don't understand that you, if you don't go home and continue the therapy, you're not gonna get well. So what this device will help us do is be able to continue using it to strengthen the stuff that she has in therapy in the clinic. So we get to take it home, she can go, we go another five days at home. 
or even in the afternoon we can continue to do some of the therapy. So she can get many, many more hours of time in and working that body. So what it does is it helps us to recreate that pathway from her brain to the arm or to the leg. So she'll do a lot more strengthening and she'll get much faster back up walking and moving that left arm is what we foresee.